we've created a world where we're busier than ever, sitting on our butts more than ever, with less leisure than ever. You have to ask, how did that happen? Successive generations have, have promised a better world and left us with the worst one. So, you know, thanks, Dad. If only we could find a better way. The better way is moving. A city and world where people move on their feet are healthy and happy as a result of interacting with each other. The question is, what can you do in research to make the world a better place, to make a city that people can move as part of everyday life and eat healthily? And that's what we're doing here at AUT. In fact, we've taken a whole lot of things. We've taken workplaces, schools, and the whole community, and we're doing research in each of those areas to try and understand what we can do to get people moving. Here's the latest in urban planning a place that is completely dominated by cars, a place where there's no local destinations, a place that's designed not for people, but for cars. And you can see what you get here, you get this wide expanse of never-ending sprawl. Houses, 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 with nothing else to go to. I'm sure you've got footpaths. Has anyone used this? Does anyone use this? Am I the first person here? When you're living in this sort of community, you end up with these house fronts and the streetage that really is uninviting. You've got these big garage doors. There isn't a community here. Your sense of house, community, and movement stops at your garage when you get into your car. Here we are in Devonport. This is a suburb that works. You can just wander out across the road, and with any luck, they're going to stop, and away you go. Thanks, mate. Cars don't have first priority, people do. And that's an important difference for, for a working suburb. There's shops here, there's cafes, there's places where people work, there's people, places where people live. This is a suburb where you can live most of your life and move around without a car. Funniest thing about a suburb like this is no one planted it. It just grew organically, and it's a great place to live. Compare that with our latest suburbs, where someone's actually sat down, a professional planner, and planned it all out. A great place to live, where you can't do anything. There's this really good future that we could have. Um, we know what makes humans happy um, and have fulfilled lives, and it's not, it's not buying more things. It's actually doing more things. Um, what does that world look like? It's one where you get out of your car, you physically move, you've got plenty of healthy food around, and you've got time to do, do that stuff. You've got time to, to be with your family, you've got time to be with your friends. The trouble with running the rat race is at the end of the day, you're actually just still a rat. Thank you.